Good morning, class. So this is Ruel Fabrio, your instructor for General Education 6100, Understanding the Self. Before we begin, uh, please, uh, in any case you have any questions regarding our topic, let me know through our chat box so that I can attend it. And likewise, if you think that my discussions are way too fast, let me know to our chat box. So our learning outcomes for this day are the following. Number one, discover the meaning of anthropology. Number two, explain the, how anthropologists do what they do. And number three, compare the differences of anthropology with other disciplines. What is anthropology? Anthropology is the investigation of the natural and social development in various people over a significant time span. It is the study of anthropology which aims to look at differences and similarities of individual or individuals. Likewise, anthropology is the study of humanity. It is the study of groups and culture. What do anthropologists do? Anthropologists aims to clarify, describe, and explain reality as they make tests and hypothesize about the evolution of humans. The development of anthropology. Anthropology is a relatively new field of inquiry that has developed in recent times. Human interaction started a long time ago. Reasons for contact varies. It can be for trade or barter, acquiring land, property, extension or power, or even spreading religion. The study of anthropology deals with the similarities and differences of these connections. Anthropological perspective. A basic tenet of anthropology is that culture should be perceived in a vast context to comprehend the interconnectedness and interdependence of humans. This perspective would allow people to understand, appreciate, and respect different culture. What are the subfields of anthropology? We have physical anthropology, archaeological anthropology, linguistic anthropology, cultural anthropology, and applied anthropology. We go now with physical anthropology. It is sometimes referred to as biological anthropology, which deals with the advancements and assorted variety of individuals. It is focused on studying fossils or remains of both human and non-humans to understand and provide answers to the biological evolution of species. Likewise, physical anthropology or biological anthropology refers to human environment adaptation. Physical anthropologists work comprehensively on three noteworthy issues. One, human and non-human primate advancement. Number two, significance of human race and its advancements. And number three, natural basis of human conduct. Archaeology. This is focused on the study of material remains in an attempt to describe the behavior of humans. It studies material remains in order to describe and explain human behavior. It is also the study of past life or past left material known as artifacts. Number three, linguistic anthropology. Based on the word itself, this field of anthropology aims to study different la human language. It is an attempt to give a description to a language focusing, for example, on the way sentences are constructed. It aims to discover the history and evolution of language and how language is used to convey messages in different cultural settings. So in a nutshell, 
when we speak of linguistic anthropology, it refers how people communicate and how they formulate the language. Cultural anthropology focuses on the study of various forms of human behavior, human thoughts, and human feelings, as it aims to discover different patterns. Its subparts focuses on ethnology and ethnography. Likewise, cultural anthropology deals with how people develop and use culture as a tool. When we speak of ethnology, it refers to an academic field that compares and analyzes the characteristics of different people or different culture. On the other hand, ethnography, these are recordings and likewise analyzes a certain culture, usually referred to a single group or a single culture only. And what is culture? A society's shared and learned ideas, values, and perceptions, which are used to make sense of experience and which generate behavior and are reflected in that culture is a society's way of life. Studying culture by fieldwork, sometimes referred to as location search, whereby the method of investigating culture is by direct participation and by studying and immersing in the day-to-day -day life of the people. Studying culture ethnology, the study and analysis of various cultures from a comparative and or historical viewpoint using ethnographic accounts and developing anthropological principles that would aid in explaining similarities and or differences between groups of people. Cultural resource management, a branch of archeology span connected with government strategies for the safety of cultural resources that usually involves survey and excavation of archeological and or historical sites or remains. That is a threat with an advent of structural innovations or developments. Number five, we have applied anthropology. This is anthropology in action and is characterized by utilizing and applying different techniques and hypotheses of anthropology for the benefit of society. How do anthropologists do what they do? So number one, anthropology is an approach to humanities. Number two, anthropology is an approach to science and the comparative method. Anthropology as one of humanities. So when we speak of humanities, it refers to stories, ideas, and the words that help make us sense of our lives and our world. Likewise, when we speak of humanities, this is an academic discipline that seeks to understand, appreciate, and critique human in all depths and range of meaning. The rounded and comparative standpoint of anthropology as directed to many insights on human downsides and accomplishments, flaws and magnitude that allows us to think about the shared involvement of being a human. Anthropology as a science, the view of anthropology as being empirical in nature, which is based on human observation of the environment rather than relying on faith or on intuition. What is a theory? A theory is a justification of natural phenomena held by a dependable data, a reasonable explanation for facts. Hypothesis, a cautious description of the relatively connectedness between certain phenomena. Explanation for something that is based on known facts but has not yet been proven. Anthropology's comparative method. Utilizing the scientific method of other scientists by offering hypotheses in order to arrive at proposed theories. This is done by making comparisons between people examining their past and present culture or by comparing related species to their remains or fossils. 
how do anthropology compare to other disciplines? Anthropology is con concentrated on the interconnectedness and interdependence of human experience in the past or present. This holistic approach enable anthropologists to understand and deal with the issue of globalization. Anthropology and globalization. Globalization speak the interconnectedness of humans in worldwide setting. It is evidence in global activities related to natural resources, human employment, investment or economics, data or information, communicable diseases, and trade properties. The forces that drive globalization nowadays are technological in nature. So before we leave this uh, discussion, I would like you to ponder on this one. Anthropology holds up a great mirror to a man and lets him look at himself in infinite variety, according to Clyde Clackhorn. So with that, thank you very much for listening and I hope you have learned something from me. This is again, Ruel Fabrio, your instructor for GE 6100, Understanding the Self.